What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Chris's Custom Collectibles and today we are going to be pimping out Cassian's Blaster made by Nerf from Star Wars Rogue One. Not only are we going to be pimping the gun out, we're also going to be repainting the bullets that come with the Nerf gun. If I can get them out. How's a child supposed to get this out? There we go. So as far as the bullets go, all I'm going to do is cover them in a coat of primer, which is going to be grey in colour, and we're going to go over them with a black wash just to make them look a little bit more weathered. Those are the bullets taken care of. The gun itself, the interesting thing about the screen used prop is that it is a jet black in this area here that's got bits of weathering, and then it just fades to expose steel and chrome that's been heavily weathered, which I think is really cool because they put a lot of effort into these weapons and props in Rogue One. They just all look beautiful. So first things first, we have to get rid of all the bullshit insignia, the Star Wars logo there, and then we're going to prime it. I'm then thinking a coat of matte black, and then we're going to do a fading coat of some chrome, maybe some chrome aluminium from Model Masters, all hand painted, and have it fade into that black beautifully and just weather the shit out of it all. On top of that, I'm gonna make a rebel themed base that is gonna mount the bullets as well. So with that being said, let's get to it. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, the gun and the bullets are pretty much complete. Now, the final step, you guys know it, is a base or a stand. So, what I've done is I have my mate Miles who owns a CNC machine. Now, for those who don't know what a CNC machine is, it's essentially just like a router that can cut through pieces of wood, metal, perspex. So I found the Revels logo on Google. Now keep in mind, you can cut this out by hand, but I wanted something very precision-like, and this was actually quite cheap. A whole sheet of MDF cost me $9, and I think for each cutout, it was nine minutes. So all up, 
I've got six of these bad boys. So for the final look, I'm just going to be placing the gun resting like so with three screws drilled in at the back to house the bullets. Now in terms of color, we're going to be priming this with the gray primer from Ustolin because MDF is quite porous and it's quite dry so it's easier if we go the route of priming it first. We're then going to cover the entire logo with a nice cherry gloss red. I'll then be going around the trim with a nice black. Now we're just going to add a coat of clear gloss and seriously, that's it. We're on the home stretch so with that being said, let's get to it. for watching guys this was a relatively easy build but like I said it was effective as always and I will be offering it on my Etsy store in fact I'm gonna be offering six because I have six of those beautiful bases and a big thank you to my buddy Miles I will leave his Instagram down below because him and I are working on a very special project that includes some 3d printing which hopefully I'll have an update video on later this week now before I sign off I just want to share with you guys an email I got from a gentleman by the name of Eli that really struck a chord with me and I think it'll strike a chord with a lot of you guys and you'll be able to relate to this. It's quite an in-depth email, but essentially it goes, Hi Chris, I've been subbed to your channel for a while and I can't begin to tell you how much of a joy it is to watch your videos. I've been a fan of Batman for as long as I can remember. My parents worked a lot, so I had no real role models to look up to. Batman was the most important person in my life. He was more of a father than my own dad was. The lessons I learned from Batman made me who I am today. I even wrote my college essay about him. The reason I said all that was because I realized as I grow older, people view my admiration of Mr. Wayne a little differently. I've been looked at as weird by a lot of people for being a high school senior who likes to watch Batman all the time or as a bunch of Batman stuff or even dresses like him. I even get awkward looks from my own families at times. My aunt gets uncomfortable with anything I do relating to Batman and I'm even afraid to bring him up in front of my girlfriend who accepts my hobby but isn't into it as me. It's because of all this I've kind of been detoxing from him. I still watch Batman movies and YouTube videos and I'm even playing the Telltale series but I don't really wear my shirts anymore and it's been months since I put on my mask let alone the suit. I guess I feel the need to grow up and make people happy. Your videos make me feel better though. I just saw your room tour and seeing a grown man with a Batman comforter almost brought tears to my eyes. I know many adults in the DC community are able to be themselves but seeing a man like you who isn't afraid to show off what you like and who isn't afraid to be a geek really inspires me. This is the first time in weeks that I've actually wanted to put the mask on again. You help me realize that no one's opinion but mine matters. So I'm not gonna lie, I welled up when I first read that email and to properly answer that Eli for anyone else that's in the same conundrum, I was there. I used to be in that mindset. If you try to make everyone else happy with your happiness being at risk, then you are just gonna have the worst life you're going to be miserable, you're going to look back on your life and realize you should have done things differently. Eli, like I said, I used to be in the same position. I used to hide my geekiness. I really didn't talk about it to anyone. I didn't really flaunt it. I didn't put it out there. I didn't really embrace it. And this is one of the reasons why I started this channel. 
I wanted to get out there that being a geek is amazing. It's embracing who you are, what you love, and what your passion is. And you've got to understand, you will always have your critics, no matter what you do in life, whether it be doctor, lawyer, or in this case, a YouTube geek, or whatever, professional cosplayer. You're always going to have your critics, and that is because people feel they don't understand, and their natural reaction is to bring you down. So honestly, man, all I can say to you is ignore the naysayers, put that shirt on, put that cowl on, put that fucking suit back on. Be yourself. Be happy because at the end of the day, we only get one crack at life. I mean, look at me. I gave up a job that had so much security in it to take on something that I love and am passionate about. It's a big risk, but I don't care because like I said, at the end of the day, we've only got one crack at life. So make it a good one. Trust me, Eli, the less fucks you give, the happier you will be. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you are well, hope you are happy, be merry, be silly, and until next time, geeks, please always remember, we all do it best.